Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. So today, we from Group 4 is going to present to you guys regarding to the task that has been given to us, which is going to be the sub-base quality checking, the California Bearing Ratio CBR penetration test. So our group consists of five members, which is going to be Akram Shami bin Zuraini, me myself, Mamaruk Babi Ismail, Natalie Elianis Knight, Ulfa Aisha binti Lukman, and Lee Bun Chong. Introduction to Subbase Subbase is the layer of aggregate material laid on the subgrid, on which the base cost layer is located. It may be omitted when there will be only foot traffic on the pavement, but it is necessary for surface use by vehicles. Subbase is often the main load bearing layer of the pavement. Its role is to spread the load evenly over the subgrades. A subbase works by distributing a point load over a large area. The interlock between adjacent particles of the subbase material ensures that a relative thin layer of the right sort of crushed aggregate can be dramatically improve the ability of the ground to carry cooperatively heavy loads. A well-constructed sub-base will aid drainage and prevent settlement and channelization. Two types of material used to construct sub-base. The first one is unbound granulous materials. Those aggregate which are loose and do not bound when laid and compacted, but rarely on the natural interlocking of adjacent particles. The second one is cement bound materials. Those aggregate which do bound with a binders, the two most common binders are bitumen and cement. The materials are chosen for their inherent blood spreading and drainage capabilities when correctly laid. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Akram Shami Bezraini. Now I'm going to present about the introduction to California Bearing Ratio Penetration Test. The California Bearing Ratio Test was first developed by the California State Highway Department and is used in the field as an arbitrary strength test which is considered to stress source and replicate with loads. The CBR test is covered by Part 9 of the British Standard BS1377 which covers source for civil engineering purpose. The CBR test is performed as part of the site investigation to determine the thickness of materials required for the proposed road construction. The CBR test is carried out by measuring the pressure required to penetrate a soil sample with a standard area plunger. The measured pressure is then divided by the pressure necessary to accomplish an equivalent penetration on a typical crushed rock material. The greater the CBR rating, the harder the surface. A high quality sub base will have an approximate 80 to 100 percent worth. According to the spe standard specification for roadworks of Jabatan Kerja Raya Malaysia, in the section of flexible pavements, sub-base should be a natural or manufactured mixture of locally accessible materials such as sand, gravel, crushed aggregate and so on that is devoid of organic matter, clay lumps and other deleterious components. It must be well graded and meet the quality criteria given in Table 4.2.2. This is table 4.2.2 refers to grad gradation limits for sub-base. When, when compared to 95% of the maximum dry density established in the BS1377 compaction test and soaked for 4 days under a 4.5 kg surcharge, the CBR of the sub-base should not be less than 30% or as shown on the table. If more than 10% of the material is retained on the BS 20mm sieve, the entire material can be assumed to have a CBR value of 30% or above without testing. Assalamualaikum and a very good day everyone. My name is Momar Bami Ismail with the metric number of A170298. So just now, I'm very sure that my friends already explained to you guys regarding to the introduction to subbase and also to the introduction to California Bearing Ratio Test, also known as the CBR test. Now I have a question for you guys. What makes a test doable? Yeah, 
you got it right. Of course, you need all the apparatus, right? So just like any other test, this test does have its own list of apparatus to be prepared um, before we are able to conduct it. So without further ado, I think it's better for us to just uh, get right to it. Basically, there are 12 different apparatus that are needed in order for us to execute the test. The first apparatus would be test sieves of aperture sizes of 20mm and 5mm. Second would be a cylindrical corrosion resistant metal mold that is the CBR mold having a nominal internal diameter of 152 plus minus 0.5 millimeters. So the mold shall be fit with a detachable base plate and a removable extension. Third will be a compression device which is the lock press for static compaction. Horizontal platens shall be large enough to cover 150 millimeters diameter circle and capable of a vertical separation of not less than 300 millimeters. The device shall be capable of applying a force of at least 300 kN. Next will be metal plugs, with the size of 152 plus minus 0.5 mm in diameter and 50 plus minus 1.0 mm thick for static compaction of a soil specimen. So basically a handle which may be screwed into the plugs makes removal easier after compaction. Next will be a metal rammer. So this metal rammer shall be either the 2.5 kg rammer or the 4.5 kg rammer depending on the degree of compaction required. Six will be an electric vibrating hammer and tamper, followed by a steel rod about 16 mm in diameter and 600 mm long. Eight will be a steel straight edge, for example a steel strip about 300 mm long, 25 mm wide and 3 mm thick with one bevel H. Next will be a spatula, followed by a balance that is capable of weighing up to 25 kg, readable to 5 grams, and then apparatus for moisture content determination, and last but not least, filter peppers, which is 150 mm in diameter, for example, what man number one or equivalent is procedure for California bearing ratio test CBR. For dynamic compaction, a sample of soil weighing approximately 4.5 kg or more for fine grain soils and 5.5 kg or more for granular soil shall be taken and mixed thoroughly with water. Clamp the mold along with the extension collar to the base plate. The soil are inserted into the mold until the layer occupies about 1 per 5 of the height of mold. Give 56 blows with the rammer weighing 4.89 kg, dropping through 450 mm in 5 layers for heavy compaction. Light compaction can also be done with the rammer weighing 2.6 kg, dropping through 210 mm in 3 layers. The top layer of the compacted soil is scratched. Again, the second layer is filled and the process is repeated. After the fifth layer, remove the extension color and trim off the excess soil by a stretch edge. Remove the base plate and spacer disc, turn the mold upside down, then place a filter paper on the perforated base plate and clamp the perforated base plate onto it. For testing, place the mold containing the specimen in the position on testing machine, then place the annular metal weight of 2.5 kg on the top surface of soil. Bring the penetration plunger in contact with the soil surface and apply load of 4 kg. Then place the slotted weight of 2.5 kg on top surface of soil such that the total surcharge weight equals 5 kg. Apply the load at rate of 1.25 mm per minute. Record the penetration of 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3 and up to 12.5 mm. Then the reading in the proving ring is noted. Results to California bearing ratio penetration test. CBR test method is used to evaluate the potential strength of subface coarse material. It is defined as the ratio of the load sustained by specimen at 2.5 mm or 5 mm penetration to percentage passing particle diameter. 
It is the ratio expressing percentage of force per unit area required to penetrate a soil mass with standard circular plunger of 15 mm diameter at the rate of 1.25 mm per minute that required for a correspond penetration in standard material. Ratio is usually determined for penetration of 2.5 and 5 mm. When the ratio of 5 mm is consistently higher than 2.5 mm, ratio at 5 mm will be used. The test is performed on remolded specimens which are compacted dynamically. Methodology covers the laboratory method for determination of CBR of remolded compacted soil specimens at soak state. The CBR tests of penetration tests are meant for the evaluation of subgrid strength of roads and pavement. It is most widely used for design of flexible pavements. Results obtained by these tests are used with empirical curve to determine the thickness of pavement and its component layers. This is a table shows standard loads adopted for different penetrations for standard materials with CBR value of 100%. For the penetration of plunger with 2.5 mm, the standard load usually is 1370 kg. While the penetration of plunger with 5 mm, usually the standard load will be 2055 kg. Calculation If the initial portion of the curve is concave upwards, apply correction by drawing tangent to curve at point of greater slope and shift the origin. Find a record the correct load reading correspond to each penetration. For the formula of CBR value, PT which is the corrected test load correspond to the chosen penetration from load penetration curve, divide with the standard load for same penetration from record and times with 100. The value CBR specimen at 2.5 mm penetration and 5 mm penetration will be recorded. For interpretation, CBR values are usually calculated for penetration of 2.5 and 5 mm. Generally, the CBR value at 2.5 mm will be greater than 5 mm in such case that will be taken as CBR for design purpose. If the CBR value for 5 mm exceeds 2.5 mm, the test should be repeated. If the identical results follow, CBR correspond to 5 mm penetration will be taken for design. This is the graph that shows the load versus penetration. For the first specimen, it shows that no correction required. For the second specimen, it shows that correction are required. 